break, cause this 38 will be designated for all those that hate it. Like a chess man, I don't contemplate it. Your moves, you lose, now your hot, you gave me new moves. More dudes, now the top, you made me same rules, new crew, now the first. What's up, my Bill Ingball fans? Y'all are amazing. Y'all been waiting for me to do part two of this joint. So that's exactly what we're going to do is part two of this joint. So I can hear exactly how this story ends. Because I love when people discover the power of the marriage you are not. Say no to drugs, kids. <laughs> Y'all let me know what y'all want me to know in the comments, all right? All right. And they don't tell you the weird stuff you think about when you're high. When you get high for the first time, there should be somebody there to help you. <laughs> like a shaman. You know, some Indian spirit that goes, hey, man, relax. This is all real. I'm baked out of my gourd in our basement. And this thought pops in my head. Whoa, you're high. Yet. You're low. <laughs> well, I cannot feel uh, that. Right? He said, you're high, yet you're low. That's definitely a high thought right there, I swear. You're low. You're low. Well, I cannot deal with that right now. And the paranoia, oh, my God. I just flushed the pot down the toilet. And I, no. yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. And I called my doctor next and I said, what the hell was that? He goes, what? And I go, dude, I coughed so hard, I thought you'd have to replace my liver. And he goes, oh, Bill, you don't smoke it, you eat it. And I said, what? <laughs> he goes, they have these brownies. I said, yeah, I saw those. He goes, well, the pot's in the brownies. He goes, go back and get a week's worth of brownies. So I go back to the pot store. There's peace. What up? <laughs> <laughs> what up? So, how'd it go? And I go, well, to be honest, I coughed or I thought they were going to place my liver. And he goes, well, you know the old saying. <laughs> what? He goes, you got to cough to get off. You got to cough well, to get off? That doesn't even make sense. And he goes, what are you doing back here? And I go, well, I'm supposed to get some brownies. And he goes, oh, most excellent choice. Most excellent choice. So he goes and gets my brownies. Well, y'all. These brownies are the size of postcards. And there's no dosage on them. They don't say, hey, all you need is a corner. <laughs> I go home, go down the basement, I ate the whole brownie. And I was fine for 20 minutes. And then I didn't have a body. I was telling my wife that the other day we were watching something. We was watching something on, on Netflix. And someone was saying that they ate an entire brownie. And I said, holy shit. And she looked at me. She said, what? what? What's the matter? I said, not supposed to eat more than a corner of it. More than you got it. Just a corner of it. It's all you need. Just a quarter. It's, 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 it's good. Shh, trust me on that. It's good for hours. Just a quarter. And later on in that daggone movie, the dude was like, dude, I think we ate too much. And they was like, what? He said, the guy I got on the phone that I got the brownies from, they said that we were only supposed to eat a quarter of it. And the whole time, this person that's on the phone is playing in a pond of water or something like that at a golf course. And they, they are high as... But they was like, dude, you just now telling us that? I swear to goodness, it's okay. All right. Fine for 20 minutes. And then I didn't have a body. Yep. Yep. That's how I go. And I pretty much freaked out. That's how I go. I'm in my basement going, oh, my God. I'm just a head on the floor in my basement. <laughs> How am I going to get out of here? A head can't roll upstairs. Oh, God. And Gail's going to have to push around in a baby stroller and go, hi, this is my husband, Bill, the head. Well, well uh, yeah, he, well, he doesn't have a body because he experimented with marijuana, didn't you? And I am freaking out. And I go, I got to calm down. I got to watch some TV. I turn on my TV. You don't think there's karma gods out there? What comes on? Cops. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And there's a police helicopter. It's right above my house. I can hear it. I'm going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
I'm going to just use that head. Who knows what kind of sick, disgusting it. things they'll do to a head in jail? He found out of that. Then I realized it's not a police helicopter. It's our ceiling fan clicking around in our basement. <laughs> and then the phone rang, and oh, it was man. my mom. Oh, no. Oh, so, no. I don't care if you're 58 or you're 15. When you're high, the last voice you need to hear is your mother. How I answered the phone, I don't know. I'm just a head. And I said, hello? And she goes, hi, honey, it's mom. I went, oh, God. Hi, mom. And she goes, what are you doing? I went, nothing. <laughs> sure not doing marijuana. Oh, my God. I go, what do you want, mom? This really isn't a good time. She goes, well, honey, I'm calling you from the hospital. And I said, what? She goes, your father was having chest pains. I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is dad having a heart attack? She goes, no, honey, relax. Jeez. The <laughs> doctor just says he has acute angina. <laughs> I'm certain he about to take that way off, man. He's about to take it way left field. Shh, be quiet, y'all. Be quiet, be quiet. He has a what? <laughs> he has a cute angina. I go, stop saying it, mom. <laughs> she goes, saying what? I go, that my dad has a cute vagina. Oh my God, my mother has a wiener. My mother has a wiener. We're going to be on Maury Poe Beach. Oh my God. You say we're going to be no on Maury Poe Beach. we never went to the beach. Oh and I must God. have been screaming all this out loud because Gail came running downstairs. And she goes, what is wrong with you? I go, well, pretty big bombshell today. I just found out my father has a vagina. <laughs> He goes, no, he doesn't. I said, yes, he does. And apparently it's a cute one. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. I passed out. I woke up with the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Not from the marijuana, but because I slept on the floor for 17 hours. And when I, <laughs> when I finally came to, the first thing I did was go, oh, thank God it's back. And then I called my dad. <laughs> oh, man. He really didn't understand the conversation. <laughs> and I'm just in this fog, and all I want is a cup of coffee. And I stagger upstairs, and I walk in the kitchen. I look up, and there's Gail lying on the breakfast table, drinking milk out of the carton, which she never does. I go, what are you doing? She goes, where'd you get these brownies? Or <laughs> <laughs> Gail then snuck and got Oh, my gracious. Gail, see, see, he done got his daggone wife tore up. You know what? Good for her. Good for Gail, god dang it. I'm, I'm excited for Gail. Bro. <laughs> I'm excited for Gail. Welcome to Shangri-La. Welcome to Shangri-La. 
Yeah, shout out to Gail, man. Gail end up getting her some, 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 some peace and quiet. <laughs> some joy. <laughs> they know the truck. Luckily for me, kids don't look at look at my videos unless they're y'all kids. Don't show y'all kids my videos, man. They they don't qualify. <laughs> Oh man, I need more. I need more. I need more comedy, man. Y'all send more to me. Send more to me. Feed me, see more. Feed me. I need more. I love comedy. All right. I'll see y'all next time, man. Love y'all. Bitta boom, bitta bye.